Alright guys, welcome back to Fallout 3. It's been a several days since I last recorded the last set and I wanted to record some more Fallout 3 because Fallout 3 is just so addicting and uh, this playthrough, I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is going to be like, obviously it's going to be very long. It's probably going to be the longest playthrough I've ever done on my channel and which is good because you know, at least I have some sort of content to provide for you guys. Most of the video length is going to be like 25, uh, 20, to tw 20 to 30 minutes. I might record, I might have a couple recordings that might hit an hour of uh, hour length, so just keep an eye out for that. Um, fortunately, I believe some of my video files or video recordings has been, um, some of them I believe has been like the, I mean, I, I, when, how I try to record, I like to sync my audio and video, my audio being my mic. The game, the hot pod already records the audio visual from the from the game itself, my hot pod program, my told me to extreme. So how how I like to do it, I like to sync my mic audio with my game, using like things like up up down down, and just to align them properly. But for whatever reason, I think some of them got really desynced, where parts of it is synced up, but then some point later on in the in the recordings, parts of it are not synced. So you're gonna see, you're gonna hear me say things that might be a couple seconds too soon or a couple seconds too late, and it's nothing I can really do about that. I apologize for that. But, uh, with that being said, I've been thinking after I recorded the last set, and <clears throat> what I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to be recording again for a long period of time. Um, what I want to do, actually, is a couple things. I want to go to Agatha's shack. Um, oh, I'm going to be good, so I'm g Oh, son of a bitch. I'm going to have to fucking do some evil shit to get my karma rating down. This sucks. I want to be very good. Very good, it's so freaking easy. No, I'm not doing this. Okay, I keep fucking up. Where's Agatha's place? It's right here. Okay, I have to go to Agatha's house, start a Agatha's song. There's a couple other side... Um, um, the main the main part of this quest is just getting her a violin, okay? But the other thing... She doesn't mention this, but you can get musical sheets now. I, I looked online a, a couple days ago, and I know most of the, the locations of it. Uh, some locations I'm gonna have to go back to a previous location I just completed. For example, <clears throat> um, the Statesman Hotel. Yes, it's on the rooftop. So let's just go in here and start doing this. Hopefully, I can be able to start this quest. Oh my! I wasn't expecting any visitors. Uh, sure you weren't. My my my! You certainly do look a little bit worn out from your travels. Oh, just look at my terrible manners. I'm Agatha. It's so nice to meet you. Now, what brings you all the way out here? Uh, exploring. Honestly, there's nothing much out here. M looking for sand, rocks, we have plenty of that. You're welcome to look around this area, of course. Don't let me dissuade you. I'm just trying to save you some time. My husband built this place way out here for a reason. Rest his soul. <clears throat> uh, oh, your husband's dead. I'm sorry. Well, that's kind of you to say. Yes, he's gone. After he built this place, we spent many happy years together. We decided to cut off contact with the outside world and just depend on each other for comfort and company. <coughs> uh, surely I haven't severed all contacts. Oh, oh, goodness, no. I have a supply caravan that passes here maybe once a week. I trade with them for whatever I need, and I stock up enough till they return. That sounds risky. What if the caravan never arrives? Well, I always have my husband's old radio set to fall back on. I used it <clears> once <throat> in an emergency when a group of raiders was getting a bit too close for comfort to my house. Otherwise, I use it to broadcast my so-called music I play for my homemade violin. I guess homemade violin is never quite in tune. Your husband's radio can broadcast across the kind of capital, entire capital wasteland. I'm sorry. You build a home, uh, a homemade violin, huh? For, uh... Oh, you are a clever one. Yes, that's exactly the problem that I have with it. It doesn't quite play all of the notes correctly, and I have to constantly tinker with it. Uh, is there any way I can help? Well, now that you mention it, um, yes, there is. My trading depends on my violin. Without it, I have nothing to play, no way to make music. 
If you can bring me a violin, a better one, I feel much more secure. I'm interested. What would you give me in return? As you may have already guessed, I really have nothing of value. Material value, that is. All I can offer you is the same I offer the caravans that trade with me. The frequency of my radio and the promise of beautiful music. I want to help you, but that type of search could cost me greatly. Uh. You have a point. Yes. Perhaps I've been neglecting needs that you might have and being selfish. I have a small amount of ammunition that my husband left behind. A box of odds and ends. I don't think I've opened it in years. If you do this for me, you're welcome to take whatever you need. All right, I'll give my world. I'll do my best to recover the violin for you. Oh, I don't <coughs> think I've been this happy in years. As promised, here's the key to the ammunition box. It's right under the rate. Right. Before you leave, I have it all Sorry starts about that. with my great great grandmother Hilda back in 2077, before the bombs fell. Yeah, records from that long. I can't even imagine that long ago. Um. Yeah, records from back then? Of a kind, yes. Hilda sent a good deal of letters to my great-grandmother Mary, who passed them on, and so forth. I suppose the correspondence could be considered a diary of sorts. Can you imagine that long ago? It certainly <clears throat> is a long time. That precious instrument has been through a lot. Anyway, Hilda was quite a special woman. Classically trained and exceptionally talented at the violin. Her pride and joy was her Stradivarius violin. I can only imagine how exquisite this instrument must have been. When the war reared its head, she was invited by Vault Tech into Vault 92. They claimed the vault would be dedicated to preserving musical talent. Uh, this violin she owned, was it valuable? Oh, absolutely irreplaceable. The Stradivarius violins are as unique as a painting or a sculpture. Each I one see. its own work of art. I think the opportunity to use that fine instruments with her fellow accomplished musicians was more than a draw for Hilda. Then the bombs fell. The vault was sealed, and my family never heard from her again. Up to 200 years, I can be certain that violin is still in decent shape. Oh, I don't think I it doesn't say still, but you know, I when I'm reading that fast, I end up it, it, place words in there. It's is in good decent shape. It's the same kept shit. It in a special pressurized case. Inside the case is the perfect temperature and humidity for the instrument. If the case is still functioning, the Stradivarius would be in perfect shape. Hilda Stradivarius <coughs> was named the Swa Stradivarius. <coughs> All of them had Sorry names. That. That's what I want you to get. Uh, any idea where Vault 92 is located? That's the catch. I have no idea where it is. I'd suggest making your way to Vault Tech headquarters in the DC ruins. That would be a good place to begin. Good luck! Agatha Saw. Uh. Tell me about, about your great great grandmother. She was quite a special woman. Hilda was her name. Classically trained and exceptionally talented at the violin. Her pride and joy was her Stradivarius violin. I can only imagine how exquisite this instrument must have been. When war reared its head, she was invited by Vault Tech into Vault 92. They claimed the vault would be dedicated to preserving musical talent. Happily, she accepted. After she entered Vault 92, the bombs fell. And the story as I know it ends. Uh, I have to go now. Watch yourself out there. Alright, so let me see. The ammo crate is here. 44 mags. Alright. She has actually quite a few stuff. I'll just take everything. That's her bed. That's. I'm near sure. <coughs> 
Alright, now, the thing is, of course, you can just go straight for the Stradivarius violin, and I think that's how you say it, and just be done with the quest. However, there is an optional part of this quest that is not really marked, although there's a merchant here. Is that Crow? It looks like it's Crow. Crazy Wolf Gang. Hey, hey, look. Yeah, Nothing what do you the have? Highest quality leftovers. A pressure cooker, yes, that's what I need. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. I know I've been looking for this thing and I know and I knew another place where they had that they were pressure cookers. Shit. Alright. I think I'm gonna risk it. I need to get the rocket launcher um schematic again. Uh, do I know I need to get that right now? Uh it's it's tough. I, I wanna get it, but I don't at the same time. Crap. Alright. <clears throat> Do you have stim packs? Alright, I'll, I'll take that. Fuck it. Um. Another. Alright, so, um, like I said, there was a, there's an unmarked side quest involving this thing. You can just get the, the violin and now be done with it. But if you give her mu musical notes, um, she also, and with the right speech checks, I believe, she also gives you the Blackhawk unique um, scoped magnum, which what I looked up online is actually pretty good. Um, Alright, so when I, I'm, I'm looking on this, and the first thing I want to do, I already found vault on another recording set, as you know, uh, but looking at the stuff I copped down onto my notepad, it, it seems that the musical sheets are located at Springvale School, Roosevelt Academy near Paradise Falls. Uh, it's like, I want to say northwest of there, or, or just west of Paradise Falls. Um, National Archives. I don't believe I've been to National Archives just to, Oh, wait, no. Oh, yeah, that's right. National Archives involves another quest. Shit. Uh, <clears throat> there's also the Arlington's Library. I already got that one. There's the Roof of Statesman's Hotel. I know where that one is. And while I do have to go to, Oh wait, the last one's obviously at Vault 92 where the violin's stored. <clears throat> so there's like at least five or, or total. Uh, or uh, I was actually looking at it's like six, actually. There's six musical notes. Um, now, I know this is going to take a little while, but... National Archives involves another quest line involving Abraham, uh, Abraham Washington in Rivet City. Uh, so... The first thing I want to do, though, is I want to go back to the Statesman Hotel. <clears throat> I want to go back to the Statesman Hotel, get that musical sheet, so I don't have to come back here again. Obviously, the Fault Tech headquarters is actually over there. But, uh, I want to start making my way doing, getting all the musical sheets, and then head to Vault 92. I know what Vault 92 is, and of course there's enemies already. Shit, it's not good. That means if there's enemies here, there's gonna be enemies over here as well. Well, this fucking sucks. I need, I don't want enemies to be spawning in here. Uh, I guess not. These guys are all fucking dead. There was an overlord. He has a mini nuke and a frag grenade. Yeah, I'll take that, I guess. Uh, there's a super mutant. He has a hunting rifle. There's an assault rifle. Um, that must be, you know, that's not a master. Get the dog meat, please. Um, I said regular suit mutant. The hell? I thought I was I thought I killed a master before and, I, and he had the minigun. Well, was that not the case on a previous video I made? Like, I thought when I finished this area there was a... There was a super mutant master and a fucking uh, minigun I killed. Whatever, so I have to go back up here. I have to go back up here. I have to go get the musical sheet. I know where it is, actually, because I've done it on, an, on another save, just to be sure. I don't know where the other ones are, though. Oh, oh shit. Uh, speaking about fucking masters, apparently they decided to do this. Uh, mysterious stranger, help. Wow, dude. Who would have thought I would have run into these guys right now? Like, oh my god. This is complete horseshit. The Ripper. Hmm. That's it. Yeah. 
you, sir. You won't beat me. I'm strong for you. Fuck you. Jesus Christ. I almost got killed and dog needs to know where to be found. I just realized. What a complete dick. Let me get killed over there. What a loser. Alright. I do need the Chinese assault rifles, by the way. I actually know a great place to get the Chinese assault rifles, believe it or not. It's actually at the Arlington Cemetery South, I believe. No, um, no, it, it's, it's near the cemetery, but it's actually a, f a food processor, uh, a food processing plant, whatever. It's, it's near the Arlington Cemetery, and this, get, and the, the only enemies that's in that place is all zombified Chinese soldiers, so... Just think about that. Chinese assault rifles with Chinese uh, uh, soldiers. It makes freaking sense if you think about it. Okay, so. Oh boy. How, am I, how, how the hell am I going to be taking all this stuff? Damn. I'm going to have no choice. I'm going to have to. Uh, um. Oh, my tongue is gonna go down, but I don't wanna fucking take the nectar. Shit. Alright, so I'm gonna have no choice. I'm gonna have to use this. Alright. The musical sheet's over here, by the way. Right in between the two chairs. There it goes. Are there any more? What the fuck were you, dog me? I almost got my ass killed because of you. You fucking. Ugh. Uh, I see. I, I don't see any enemies here, and I also can't fast travel from this location. So <sighs> let's go down. Let's go back down. We got two Chinese assault rifles. I can. I. I can. I guess give them back to the guy at Paradise Falls, which makes sense because I have to go back there anyway. Because I have to go to the other location that's actually west of. I want to say it's a little bit west, southwest of, or, or maybe it's west, southwest of um, Paradise Falls. It's Roosevelt Academy. Okay, let me see. Did I hack this already? Yes, I did. And let me see how my stats are doing for hacks. 39, sweet. <clears throat> I have to do something to get rid of my karma. The only thing I have I can get rid of my karma is the Mesmatron, and of course that requires me to go and enslave some enemies. I could t I could like temporarily enslave a raider, remove the device. On the on the other hand, actually, there is one way I can remove my karma to be neutral. I just realized something. Um, vault vault uh. Vault 112, I'm able to, if I follow through with um, Spraun's killing everyone and doing stupid shit, I get a whole crap ton of negative karma. I get like a negative 500 or 600 karma. That should bring me down to neutral, by the way. Alright, so I'm not going to go there just yet. Um, because, like I said, I have to go to defo several different locations. Um, uh, which also includes this, well, not necessarily that area, but let me see. I think it was right here. I think that's where the area is. I, I could be wrong, but it's in like in that vicinity. So I'll go to Roosevelt Academies first. Then I'm going to go back to Springville School. Going to the National Archives, is, I'm going to have to start another quest. To get the... Okay. Um, fuck, I might, I might as well here. I might as well give this shit to him. Enjoy your stay. Ah, <laughs> uh, shut up, Grouse. You're an idiot. <clears throat> now, like I said, I've never really. I, every time I come, uh, every time I played this game, I've always killed Paradise Falls. I murdered everyone, but, <clears throat> but, but using the Mesmatron is a perfect tool to get karma without actually being bad. I mean, okay, you're yeah, sure I enslaved someone, but I I removed a collar. I mean, it's. It's definitely a great way to acquire negative karma without actually being evil. And I'm probably... I'm going to try to get negative... Oh, I'm, I'm going to temporarily be hey, evil just so be I can... More careful. Oh, shut the fuck up. Don't make me kill you, okay? I'm, I want to buy a, 
um, Clover for photo reason. I just won't, won't, won't want to buy her. You, you need guns? Yes, take the Chinese assault rifles from me. I have two. Not bad, not bad. Keep them coming though. Yes, yes, yes. I need probably another eight, uh, another five more, six more. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. I've done this. Vault Tech headquarters. I already, like I said, I already know where Vault 92 is already, but I'm probably gonna still go to Vault Tech anyway because I. Um. I have no idea. I, I think. I think there's some extra stuff in there I want to go look at. <clears throat> Since I'm fucking lazy, I, I wanted to do that. Hey Caravan. there. This would be Crow. I may have an auto glitch. Fucking great. If the clothes make the man, then here are the means to remake yourself. Oh my god, will you shut the fuck up, please? <clears throat> okay. Motorcycle helmet? Uh, I mean... Fuck you. Can we repair my combat helmet? Yes. No, I'm not gonna do that right now. That's the waste too much. So... Let me see. I believe...